Hey y'all, this is an exciting time of year. Why? Because we've got fruit ripening on the homestead. This is one of my favorite times of the year. And we've got things just ripening left and right. And I've got to get it off the tree because if I don't, then it's going to rot and we're going to waste stuff. And I hate wasting things, especially if it's some great fruit like this. Now, if you're looking at this tree and you're going, what the heck is that thing? This is a unique fruit. And I love it because it's drought resistant, it's disease resistant to a certain extent, and it is also pest resistant to a certain extent. Much more than a lot of the other fruit trees on my homestead. These are Chinese dates. Another cool thing about these is that you can eat them in various stages of ripeness. So as you can see, I have three here, and one is kind of a medium brown color, just starting to brown, one is totally brown, and one is not, it's still this greenish yellow color. Well, all of these are very edible, they're very good. They go through different stages of sweetness. This one right here is why they call it a Chinese date. It started to shrivel up and turn brown, as you can see, and the sugars are more concentrated in it. So I've gotta get these off the tree because if I leave them on here too long, actually the birds will get them. And I don't wanna waste fruit like I said before. Besides planting, harvesting is one of the most important things you can do in your homestead garden. Because if you don't harvest, what's the point? Now you gotta be careful with these jujube trees or Chinese date trees because like citrus, they have thorns. So watch out. Now, in addition to our Chinese dates, we've got these beautiful grapes that are ripening. These are both muscadine grapes. They are Carlos and a Day variety. Now, the Days over here, or I'm sorry, these are the Carlos. These are not ripe yet. However, the Days are. And I told you before, harvesting is one of the most important things you can do on your homestead. And you need to get to it, attend to it, when it has to be done. And if you don't, this will happen. Now it looks as though they fell off, but I'm a little suspicious now actually because there are some green ones laying down on the ground as well. So I suspect maybe an animal got in here and had a snack. Regardless, you need to constantly monitor your fruit uh, for that peak ripeness because that ripeness is going to attract animals and if you don't get to it, it it'll either rot and attract bugs or it'll attract uh, animals that will come and eat them. So let's get the rest of these off of here so I can at least have a few to eat this year. Although here's a really neat thing about muscadine grapes is they will put out a second uh, fruit set in the season. So we've got our first fruit set ripening right now and our second one is just starting to form here. Pretty cool. Here is another beautiful little tree where we've got ripe fruit, and this is our Asian pear. When Asian pears are ripe, they'll turn this beautiful uh, brownish, tannish color right here. If there's any green in it, it's not ripe yet. And if it's ripe, it'll come off really easy. And these are fantastic. And you know what? These also seem to be very uh, resistant to a lot of pests and diseases on the homestead so far. I've got a lot of diseases that attack my peaches. Of course, I don't have any peaches anymore because they were all wiped out by a myriad of different diseases. We've got blight on our pears. We've got blight on our apples. We've got canker on our apple trees a lot of different things but this the chinese date the grapes don't be or don't seem to be affected by anything at all really and also figs so 
that's one of the things about your homestead. You're going to have to figure out what grows best in your area and what varieties of fruit are going to do the best where you're at. If I was in Washington State or back in my home state of Michigan, I'd be growing a lot of different apples and peaches, but down here in Texas, not happening. The last thing we have ripening are these little limes. Now we have a lot of little citrus trees like this. The fruit is fairly small on it right now, but hopefully when the tree gets bigger, it'll produce bigger fruit. But these are actually perfect harvesting size right here. These are ripe and these are perfect for my wife's pad thai. Well, there you go. That is what we have ripening on our homestead right now. Now you saw us pick pears just a week and a half ago, so you can add that into the mix. That is everything that we have that should be ripening right now. Although we have a couple trees that should be producing fruit, which are not, they're a little immature or we've got some trees that are sick. So it all depends on what's going on on your homestead. Now I know a lot of you are watching from all over the world and that's super cool. I wanna know what you are picking right now where you're at. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Now go check out this video here, which shows you exactly how to can pears. Have a great blessed day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.